any doubt in your friends and your families and your neighbors' minds about whether or not what we're trying to do here is possible, there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be because the votes are there. And let's let's talk about why that vote is important. Let's talk about why that vote is important. The Senate is looking good. We're gonna we're probably gonna hold the Senate. But we don't get anything for a Democratic Senate. A Democratic Senate that thankfully will be able to tell Lindsey Graham we're gonna stick that bill. <laughs> If Kevin McCarthy or Jim Jordan is Speaker of the House, mm -mm. and if their deputy, their assistant deputy whip, Jake LaTurner, continues to try and do what he's been trying to do in Kansas for the last 10 years, which is to get between you and your doctor, to get between you and your partner, to be in that doctor's office, to be in your bedroom when you're making those decisions that are most important for you and your family. And these, these are basic fundamental rights that have been established in this country for half a century. And there's a, there's a clear choice in this election. It, and it's not an essay question. <laughs> are we going back or are we going forward? Are we going to allow people to make these decisions for themselves? with the people they need to consult with? Or are we gonna put the government in the middle of those decisions? And I think on August 2nd, we got a clear response from Kansas in the second district. And so if we elect a Democrat to this seat in the Kansas second, then we can codify Roe. And, but it, it doesn't stop there. Because even, even, anybody remember before Griswold versus Connecticut? Right? They just voted, a month ago, they just voted against protecting birth control. This is how extreme these guys are. And it's, it's going to cause people, if, if they are successful in